Hello, hello, and welcome to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I am the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today. If you've not yet subscribed, please make sure to click on that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday and new exercise videos every Friday, so don't miss out. If you'd like to stay up with The Millie Life, see what we're doing on a daily basis, check us out on all the social medias. It's The Millie Life, one word, check it out. Let's go. Today, we are talking about my favorite things on the motorcycle, so let's get going. Before we start today, we're talking about my five favorite things on the motorcycle. These are all aftermarket products that I've put on on my own or Matt has put on. All of the links for these products are below in the description. If you like what you see, want to add one to your bike, check them out there below in the subscription. I don't link anything that I don't use myself and love. So by far one of my favorite things on my motorcycle is my mini floorboards and shifter peg. They are made by Flow Motorsports. They are in jet fuel. These are the mini floorboards, all right, so they're not full floorboard size. Um, and then the shifter peg. As you can see, the brake arm, the stock brake arm on the Harley Davidson Fat Bob um, is all one piece. So eventually I will get a new brake arm with the new um, brake pedal in the same jet fuel. Now, this color I'm obsessed with. You can see it's part of my logo, um, if you've been following me for a while. And it was something I was hesitant about. And the reason I was so hesitant was because of how colorful it was. And that, I think, is one of the coolest things about motorcycles and customizing them. It's your bike. It's about what you love, what looks good to you, and not necessarily trying to match perfectly or fit some sort of flow or not being too bright or too flashy. That's a bunch of bullshit. If you love a part, if you think it's gonna look sick on your bike, do it. That's what I highly, highly recommend because this is my one of my favorite pieces. Um, I wanna eventually update the grips and have the same sort of jet fuel coloring on the ends here. Nice and matchy matchy. But you can get these at flowmotorsports.com. You can get them at JMP Cycles. I've provided the link below in the description. Um, they also come in uh, four different colors, black, red, chrome, and gold, and then obviously the jet fuel. So I guess that's really five. There are two floorboards in a set. If you're ordering the shifter peg, there's just one. And then obviously if you're gonna do the brake, that's a separate one as well. What I love about these is the color. We talked about that before. What else I also love about these is that they can be rotated 360 degrees. There is a clevis set that you have to um, purchase with that to do that, and I'll link that below as well. But you can rotate this however you want to find the best footing for you, whatever angle works for you. Floorboards and pegs, I think, are not talked about enough. It doesn't matter how much power your bike has. This is the one of the main hubs of control here. So if you're not supported well here, you're not gonna be able to maneuver the bike as well. And I definitely saw an improvement in my handling, how I felt overall on the bike, and just the confidence level with adding these bad boys on. They have a wide platform, lots and lots of grip here. Um, and like I said, more control over the bike. Mini floorboards, one of my favorite things. Again, link is below. Let's move on. My second favorite thing about the bike, and I'm gonna screw this up, so, uh, <laughs> put it in the comments below how you're supposed to say it, but Kuryakin, Kuryakin, <laughs> Road Thunder Soundbar, this is in black. This is an aftermarket part, but it was actually um, sold with my bike. I bought my bike used, it had 2,000 miles on it. Um, it had a custom seat, which I um, eventually sold and got the um, stock one. And then it had this guy. And this guy is fantastic. First and foremost, it is loud. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a demo in a moment here. Secondly, I was listening, used to listen to my music through my Senna, which was great. But I think this is also a safety feature. So part of motorcycle safety is being seen. Um, we'll talk about loud exhaust here at the end. 
but I like having the music on so people can also hear that when I'm writing too. Um, some cool features about this, you've got volume controls right on here. You can switch songs here um, and you've got your pause and your play button. It is Bluetooth enabled um, and then it is weather resistant in accordance with IP66 rating, which is what they have on their site. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means it's waterproof. Yeah, it's waterproof against hose directed water and falling drops of rain or snow. The only thing, disclaimer it says is do not submerge in water. I'm not really sure why or when you would do that, but yeah. Um, so this is a universal fit for handlebars between seven eighths of an inch and a one and a quarter inch. Um, it comes in black and silver. I love the black. I think it matches my bike the best. And then things I love about it, it has a built-in USB charging port and an aux out put and an aux input cable. So I have my phone cable in um, my bag back here. And when I need to charge my phone while I'm riding, I can just plug that into here. Let's give you guys a little bit of a demo of just how loud the music is. Okay, that was my phone playing. Now it's So that was the loudest setting. All right, I'm three or four down now. And that's all the way quiet. <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty freaking loud and I absolutely love it. Let's move on to the next piece because it's freaking starting to rain. Oh, my third favorite thing that I love about my bike is my Bung King crash bar. Okay, this is for 2018 to 2022 soft tail models with forward controls or mid controls. Um, so, so the things like the Fat Bob, the Sport Glide, Breakout, uh, Lowrider S, Heritage models, all of those, this is your bar. Okay, um, they also make one that is lowered down, which is what I originally ordered, but with forward controls, the two don't go together. Um, it is nicer. I like the way that it looks better. You can also prop your feet up when you're going highway cruising and stuff like that. But this was the model that fit my bike. So I highly, highly recommend making sure you double check that before you ordered because I did order the one for mid controls and had to return that. And I think it was about a hundred bucks in shipping. Um, so lost a bit, a little bit of money there, but I love this thing. This thing has saved my ass so many freaking times and they have one for the back. I haven't added that one on. I just have the forward one, which is going to protect your paint, protect your engine. One thing I love about it, it protects my bike when I've dropped her. And, and that's been quite a bit as a new rider, okay? Um, yesterday, or the other day, I forgot to put the freaking kickstand down and dropped her in the driveway. Oh, one more thing I thought forgot about the crash bars. As I was doing my research on purchasing this, the Bung King actually designed these for stunt riders um, local to where they're based that were learning new stunts so that they weren't wrecking their new bike. So um, I can attest to it. I've dropped my bike with it, like I said, and I don't have any, you know, um, scratches on the tank or um, any damage to the front end of my bike. So Bung King crash bar. I'll link it below, one of my go-tos, and it is freaking raining. We're gonna do this anyways. <laughs> we did get inter interrupted by rain. There was like a random 30 minute little rain cloud and it's been gorgeous the rest of the day. So we're back. Number four, you guys have heard me talk about these before. These are my Lucky Speed Shop shorty levers. All right, up here, I have them in uh, fired bronze. They match my heat shield um, that came stock with the Harley Davidson Fat Bob, um, but they do come in four colors, the fired bronze, gloss black, matte black, and a blood eagle red. Um, there's two in a set and they're two and some change shorter than stock levers. So two and a, two inches and some change shorter than what comes on the bike. And you may not think that it may be kind of weird to transition to this kind of lever, um, but really when you pull, you only use those first two fingers, maybe three. And honestly, it wasn't a transition at all. It actually felt way better than the stock levers because they were easier to pull and I didn't feel like I was reaching as far. They're just right in here. Um, so I honestly feel 
and felt at the time like I had more control over the bike having the shorty levers on. I love too that if you drop the bike that these are not getting bent, they're not getting um, dinged with the stock levers. I, those were like one of mine was completely bent from dropping the bike. So um, you can find these on Lucky Lucky Speed Shop. You can find these on Lucky Speed Shop. These fit on 2015 and up Softail Harley Davidson models. Um, they've got, got a couple different designs and patterns. Absolutely love them. You can find the link for that below. And what do you guys think? Do you like the shorty levers? Do you like the stock ones? Do you like the longer, thinner levers that I've seen? Um, it's also important to note that two do come with your purchase of them. So it's not like you have to add two to your cart. They come as a set. Um, but yeah, leave it in the comments below. What do you guys like? Do you like the shorties or are longer levers more your jam? That takes us to number five. <laughs> Definitely not. It's definitely last, but definitely not least. Um, I've got my Vance & Hines high output slip on mufflers. They come in a pair. Those of you who have the Fat Bob and have the stock mufflers, I think they're a really weird piece of the bike. Most of the bike is blacked out. You've got this fired bronze and then the stock ones are chrome. Um, they kind of look tin canny and they sound like a lawnmower. And I'll put a video of my before and after adding these guys on. Um, the install on this was definitely way past my mechanical knowledge. So Matt helped quite a bit and then ended up finishing off um, this particular pro project. What I love about these, they've got the Vance and Hines badge here. Um, it looks gold to me, but I've read reviews online that it's more silver. It's not super noticeable or super bright, but I really do like the badging. And then I just love the sound. What it did to my bike took it from sounding like a lawnmower to a badass motorcycle. So not only does that feel badass, but it's also a safety feature. We talked about it earlier with the sound bar. Having loud pipes lets people know that you're there. They can hear you and see you, which is super important being on a motorcycle and being on the road. So I got these, Matt found these actually on eBay. Somebody had opened the box, decided they didn't want them, and we got them for a great rate. But I also put the link below. Um, they have them on Revzilla. I think they're currently sold out though, but I absolutely love them. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, that is a wrap on my five favorite motorcycle things. Um, so we had the Flow Motorsport, mini, flo mini floorboards and shifter pegs. We had the Sound bar, which I'm not gonna say the brand name for that because I can't. <laughs> we had the Bung King crash bar. We had the Lucky Speed Shop shorty levers, and then my Vance and Hines exhaust. If you wanna check out any of those, liked what you saw, um, I'll provide the links below. Check them out, let me know what you think. Thank you so much again for tuning in. My name is Danielle, this is the Millie Life, and until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.